Yo, what is up NBA fans? It's Mike here, and I want to start this video off by saying that the Brooklyn Nets are not contenders right now. They're just not, alright? There are a ton of people who are way higher on them than I am. Kevin Durant looked good in his first game, okay? I'm not saying they're going to be trash, but this team, I do not believe, is a contender as it is constructed right now, alright? I think there are too many players who want the ball. I think there is reason to believe that this team is going to have chemistry issues with their current roster, and I don't think this team has enough defense to compete with the other best teams in the East. I think that they are a second round exit if they make it past the first round. So basically, if they're a high enough seed to make it past the first round, because if they end up as like the sixth seed, then I think they're a first round exit, all right? I do not believe in this team. So, I believe the Brooklyn Nets need to make a big trade for either a third star or just another very, very good player on their team to get rid of some of the young guys because their championship window is now, okay? You know, Kevin Durant, he's a little bit older. It's not like they're a bunch of young guys in their roster they're building around. They're trying to contend right now now and the james harden rumors have been crazy ever since you know james harden said he wanted to be traded but considering the a james harden or i'm sorry the houston rockets have already turned down the initial offer from the brooklyn nets that was a pretty sizable offer for james harden and the houston rockets have also said that they want ben simmons and three first round picks for james harden which is absolutely insane all right clearly the houston rockets won a just unbelievably massive haul for James Harden, and the Brooklyn Nets just can't afford to give it to them, I don't believe. At least not as good of a deal as some other teams can. So I don't think James Harden is going to the Nets, and also even if he did, I think that you still potentially have some of the same chemistry issues because James Harden doesn't really help you on the defensive end, and he's also another dude who needs the ball in his hand. Even assuming, and I have been on James Harden's side in this, at least to an extent, that James Harden is not someone who has to play ridiculous iso ball. That was more the fault of Mike D'Antoni. So if James Harden went to a different team, he probably wouldn't be isoing quite as much. And I think he can play off ball and fit with different offensive systems. However, he still very much needs the ball in his hands a lot. I just think him, Kyrie, and Kevin Durant, who all have rumors of being problematic locker room guys and are all offensive players who really need the ball in their hands, I just don't think that's a great fit, all right? I just don't really believe in that trio, even if they would maybe be the best offensive trio in NBA history, only competing with the previous KD-led Warriors. I just don't know if that would be the best move for the Brooklyn Nets, especially considering how much they would have to give up. So, what trade do I think the Brooklyn Nets should make then in that case? Because, obviously, I think they should trade for someone. And that someone is Rudy Gobert of the Utah Jazz. And I'm really surprised this hasn't been talked about more, so let me explain why the Nets should and how they can trade for Rudy Gobert. Now, Rudy Gobert... Yeah, I mean, y'all know, unless your flight reacts dumbass, you all know who Rudy Gobert is, all right? Two-time defensive player of the year, one of the best defensive players in the league. The dude can't really guard the perimeter, can't really guard in space. However, he is arguably the best rim slash post protector in the entire NBA, all right? He won two defensive player of the years for a reason. If he was added to this Nets team, he would instantly make them a top defense in the league because he's just that good on the defensive end. And that would be huge for this team because I really think they need some more defense if they're going to be legit contenders, all right? Offensively, he's not the most gifted, but he could definitely uh, flourish with this floor spacing of Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, get some lobs from Kyrie, all right? He would do a good enough job on offense considering all the other offensive talent on this team. Now, obviously, this helps the Nets. Why would the Jazz want to trade Rudy Gobert, though? They would want to trade Rudy Gobert because his contract finishes this season. Okay, Rudy Gobert's contract is up at the end of this season, and he is eligible, not deserving, but eligible for a Supermax contract. Now, I think even the biggest Rudy Gobert fans are going to sit there and admit the dude's not worth a Supermax, okay? He is not worth one of the largest contracts in all of NBA history for a dude who 
can't shoot whatsoever and can't really guard outside the paint. As good as he is, clearly not a max contract player, all right? So if he doesn't get that max contract from the Jazz, he may walk. It's super max contract, I should say. So they're going to have to trade him. There's also all the rumors about him not getting along with Donovan Mitchell. I'm not going to get into those here because I really don't know how real all those are. As you all know, ESPN just loves to make up BS rumors about players not getting along because it gets the clicks. All right, so all those rumors not going to be talking about, but... The contract situation is legit. They're not going to want to give him a Supermax, and he's probably going to want a Supermax. Also, even if they gave him a Supermax, that would be a bad decision, because Donovan Mitchell as Rudy Gobert, is, and I'm sorry, and Rudy Gobert is your entire future, that's just not a championship-level future. It's just not. Rudy Gobert... He's just not quite good enough, in my opinion. And Donovan Mitchell, I don't know if he's ever going to be like a superstar level player. He's going to be very good, obviously. He's already very good. But I really don't think he would ever be good enough to have his second best player be Rudy Gobert and that team to legitimately be title contenders. So they need to trade him. So they can trade Rudy Gobert to the Brooklyn Nets for Jarrett Allen and Karis LeVert. Two young players with a lot of potential. They fit better with Donovan Mitchell's timeline. Now, the contracts don't line up perfectly because Gobert is making about $25 million this season, and Karis LeVert plus Jared Allen only equals about $20 million. Um, they need to throw in some contract filler, probably like Jeff Green. Even then, I'm not sure if that gets them close enough. I don't know exactly how the NBA... Uh, contract matching works with trades, you know what I mean? Like, how close does the money have to match? Because obviously they don't have to be, like, the exact same price. But um, I'm not sure if that gets them close enough, but I'm sure the Nets, I'm certain they could figure out something where they throw in one or two extra contract filler guys and make this trade work, all right? And I think this is a great move for both teams. The Nets get significantly better on defense, they get their third star player, all right, around Kyrie and KD, he fits very well with both of them. I think it's a great trade for them because they are in a win-now situation. And then meanwhile, for the Utah Jazz, they get younger. All right, they get Jared Allen, who is a good defender in his own right and a very young center, who I think we could see have a breakout season. Not quite to the level of Bam Adebayo, but very similar because I think he really hasn't gotten the chance that he deserves on the Brooklyn Nets. And they get Karis LeVert, who is a great second offensive option next to Donovan Mitchell. Some people even think he has all-star potential. I'm not sure if I'd go that far, but he definitely can be a very good offensive player on a team, and he's just not going to get that chance next to Kyrie, KD, and Dinwiddie, so I think he would be very happy with this trade. I think this is a very good trade for both sides, and yeah, I mean, basically, this is the trade I think the Nets need to make. I think this might make them contenders, depending on how good Kevin Durant is, and Kevin Durant looked really good, all right, but I will scream this into the heavens. Until preseason finally ends, preseason games mean nothing, okay? So it was nice that Kevin Durant looked good, specifically that drive he had where he just immediately goes and dunks the ball. That was very nice, and um, if, if I was a Nets fan, that would give me a lot of confidence, all right? That did make me feel better about his injury. However, at the end of the day, I still need to see him in some regular games, all right? I still don't know if he's going to be the Kevin Durant he once was. Either way... Uh, Rudy Gobert would definitely make this team better, and I think that's a great deal for the Brooklyn Nets. I think that might make them the true best team in the East and the true final favorites, all right? And it helps them match up with the Lakers better because I think he stands a much better chance if they were to make the finals. Who are you going to have? You're going to have DeAndre Jordan and Jarrett Allen guarding Anthony Davis, or are you going to have Rudy Gobert? I'm taking Rudy Gobert, no question. And then for the Jazz, like I said, they get younger, you know, young talent, better around Donovan Mitchell, and they no longer feel pressured to give Rudy Gobert a Supermax contract, which he clearly doesn't deserve. Sorry, Rudy Gobert, again, nothing against the dude, but just like the man's not worth a Supermax contract, okay? Very few people in the league are. He is not one of them. So, that's all I really had for this video today, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about this trade. If you would do this, if you were the Brooklyn Nets uh, front office, please like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And check out some of my other content. Thank you for watching.